Everybody out there, uh, pumped today. We're, uh, we're talking today with USA Softball. We've got Rich Crest joining us. Um, topic of our little conversation today is going to be about getting back on the field to play. Um, we're proud to be partners with USA Softball. They do excellent work out there. It's not just fast pitch softball, it's slow pitch. So there's a wide array of, of teams and sports and ages that, that USA Softball um, works with. So happy to have you on with us today. How you guys doing? How you hanging in there? We're good. We're, uh, we're excited to, we've got our first tournament actually starting this Sunday here in Oklahoma City. So we're really excited about that. So. That's good. I, o Oklahoma has been pretty good at getting back to things, right? Yeah, we've been back. Uh, we've been playing in the state for probably about close to a month now um, around the, the different cities. But here at the facility, we still had some construction stuff to finish up. Uh, so now that that's completely done, um, we're going to get after it this weekend. So I was going to ask you about that at the end. I mean, you mentioned it just now. So you guys were doing some work on the facility, right? Yep. Yeah, we just uh, finished up. Uh, um, two years worth, $27 million project, um, brand new press box, press area, broadcast center, uh, upper deck, and uh, brand new field. So it, it looks amazing. I mean, a place that already was pretty much a crown jewel, like, just got even better. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, we can, we can host a lot more people. Um, the, the field was in good shape before, but when you get a bunch of uh, cranes and heavy equipment out there, uh, it, it needed a rehaul, and when uh, when we did that, we, we did some other uh, improvements for it, so it drains a little bit better, so we shouldn't, uh, rain shouldn't be a problem for us anymore. That's good stuff for the players, the fans, the coaches, and everybody. So, you know, we're in the middle of, we're trying to come out of this coronavirus thing, um, you know, talking about the improvements on the field and having people back in there. So, like, how has this COVID-19 pandemic affected your guys' operations? It's it's been difficult. We were uh, here at our office in Oklahoma City. We were we worked from home for about two months, so it was a little different for everybody. Um, we were still pretty functional, um, but it was a it was a big adjustment for us. Um, we've been back in the the office here for for about a month now, um, and kind of getting back in the back of the swing of things, um, and just kind of learning how to do things a little bit bit differently. But also, it's been a been a challenge for us as an organization because we've got uh, 67 local associations out there um, in all those states, all those cities, all those counties do a little, things a little bit differently. Excuse me. Um, so we're just uh, we're still trying to work through all, all those things with <clears throat> with those different people and those associations and keep trying to push forward as much as possible with softball. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe you have coronavirus. I hope not. I got a little tickle. Right. My I'm a little nervous. It's all good. I mean, it, and and you know that is the that's the whole thing here, right? It's no one really knows. Um, every state is different. Every county within every state's different. Maybe even every city within the county is operating yep. differently. So it's just a. I guess it's a wait and see, and uh, you know you can only do what you can do. I mean. Tell us a little bit about that. Like, how is it affecting different parts of the country with your operations? And yeah, there's there's still a lot of um, a lot of places out there that that can't play. Um, so we've been one of the big things we've been working on lately is um, obviously we have national championships that are all across the country, um, and there's there's some of those places that aren't going to be able to host this year. So we've been working um, through those those cities and those those host organizations and trying to find new homes for those national championships just so we can still have a productive national championship season. And thankfully for, for a couple of those, those championships, um, we had some open weekends um, and we've moved uh, the 12 and under um, a fast pitch national championship that was supposed to be scheduled in Southern California to here in Oklahoma city as well as the 10 and under a West that was scheduled for North Mankato, Minnesota. We've, we've moved both those tournaments here to Oklahoma city to be played right after our 18 gold national championship that we were already scheduled to host. Nice. And are you seeing, um, are you seeing teams traveling to get to these tournaments where they're playing? We are. Um, there's, 
obviously, I mean, there's going to be both spectrum. There's there's going to be yeah. some of those teams that that don't want to travel, um, but there's also a lot of teams that that are just they're ready to play. They're ready to get, and that's kind of how one of our the tournament that we're hosting this weekend is. We've got we've got teams from from California. We've got teams from New Jersey, St. Louis, Kansas City. Um, so we've got uh, a good um, geographic uh, tournament this this weekend. Yeah, I got you. I mean, players and parents and, and, and everybody in between wants some type of normalcy to come back. And, yep. you know, they just they want a game. They, they want the competition, that team camaraderie, the, the sportsmanship. It's so important in developing as a person, not just an athlete. Um, it, it's cool to see that people are traveling around to go and play the sport that they love. Like, yep. I saw on your guys' website, you guys, uh, you produce, um, gosh, what is it called? It's uh, like a back to the ballpark guideline type thing. Yeah. So, so a little bit about we, that. Yeah, we wanted to, uh, we want to get back to playing softball, but we want to make it as, as safe for people as possible. Um, and in putting this document together, it's just kind of some best practices and some recommendations that um, in doing some research with the CDC and our, our local officials here in Oklahoma City and doing some um, and working with our board of directors in some of their cities and, and states and just seeing what other people were doing and putting that all into place to, um, to make it work for uh, softball and and different ballparks around the country. So just taking all those things, the information that we gathered um, as far as social distancing, washing your hands, different wash um, hand sanitation stations within the ballpark, um, the, the different things that you see as far as concession lines go and, and making sure people are spaced out and just trying to just put it out there for all of our um, people in the field to use and just something that they can reference to make things and uh, a little bit safer and people feel a little bit more comfortable with playing in their events. Yep. It's a lot of common sense stuff, right? Like it is. Hands, keep a little bit of distance. I guess there's no more like high fives after a game. It's probably a sure. hey, good job. Yep. Um, yeah. It's some of the things like that, but like you said, yeah, a lot, a lot of common sense things um, and a lot of things that you just hear in, in everyday life as far as, um, recommended to wear a mask, wash your hands, things like that. Uh, like, what, do you think some of this stuff is going to last forever? Like, the things that happen now? Or do you think it'll get back to just, like, something that we're used to seeing in 2019? I, I think that some things will, will go back to normal, but I think a lot of things will, will also... Um, change forever. Will change forever, and that goes for, I mean, that's society and softball. Yeah. I think we'll probably end up seeing people, more people with masks, like just walking around all the time, you know? Yeah. I mean, and, and you've even, I mean, around here, you see a lot of the, some of our, our companies here locally of they've all their workforce is staying at home, working from home. And they, that may be the new normal for them. Yeah. I mean, here I am. I got my Easton hat, my Easton shirt, and I got a pair of board shorts on, you know? <laughs> It is what it is. So, uh, and, and Team USA, like your your Team USA, are they're not competing right now, and that you know they play international circuits, so that is a whole different ball game, right? Yeah, that's it's totally different on the on the women's uh, fast pitch national team side of things. Um, they're completely shut down for this year, and they're still uh, talking with uh, our national team director, Chris Sebrin on a regular basis and some of those things. But as far as getting together and playing for, for this year that they'll just be working out and things on their own. Yep. Well, the good news is, is that softball will be back and it's coming. It will. And, 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 and it's here. I mean, it's getting played everywhere. So slowly, surely yep. every single place in the United States will end up having softball here at some point. You guys are doing a great job of, of keeping it going and we appreciate that and we love being a partner with you guys so thank you for all of that um last thoughts for everybody out there yeah just uh we can't wait to see you back at the ballpark and uh we're really uh looking forward for our national championship season especially for this week and getting started here in oklahoma city at our brand new stadium um if, if anybody wants a sneak peek at the what the 
the construction went through. We've got a tour, uh, an online tour on our website if everybody wants to check that out. But uh, yeah, we're just want everybody to stay safe and keep playing ball and hope to see you all soon. That is good stuff, Rich. Everybody go check out that website. It's what it's all about, having fun, whether you're six or whether you're 66. Softball, exactly. buddy. So we hope to see everybody out there soon. USA Softball, Rich Crest, thank you for joining us today. Have a great thank rest you for of having day. me. Okay, we'll see you, everybody. Bye.